Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Commander? Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... Now that's about it. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. Commander? It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, 
I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right... Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. Hello, Shepard. It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few, myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Another time, maybe.
Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear yourself think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it. The day I became a shaman of the female clan, I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. 
How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. 
Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Progan support. Progan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny. Sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Well, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Commander. Commander. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Protheans are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here? I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian. All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. 
The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. This Cerberus. I do not understand why your own kind would oppose you. They will bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. The Rex Krogan offered me a job. He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. Yes? Yes? Not sure what to think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You mean Sophie? I think she's cute. What purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Look how long I've been with you. Commander? All good, Commander. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800-pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. Is everything okay, Shepard? I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Commander, 